Hello everyone, my name is Lachan with Power Life Hypnosis. This is your November 2019 Love and Romance Reading. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, book a reading with me through the description box below or at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. If you have any questions that you would like quick predictions or quick guidance for, and you have an iPhone or an iPad, go ahead and contact me through the free Instant Go app instantgo.com slash power life hypnosis i will respond to your message within 24 hours if you are interested in attracting true and lasting fulfilling love go ahead and check out the attract true love workbook that link will also be in the description box below and if you are interested in knowing more about who your future partner is when you meet your partner where you meet your partner what your partner will look like how to recognize your partner your partner's personality traits and more book a future partner reading with me through the description box or at my website powerlifehypnosis.com and you can also purchase the new future partner reading cards and the link for that will also be in the description box below and at my website thumbs up and like this reading if the messages resonate with you comment share and subscribe to my channel let's go ahead and get into your love and romantic relationships for the month hello aquarius let's go ahead and get started on your reading here so i have the ring scythe coffin the heart and the stars and I am using my new future partner reading cards these cards are so amazing because they give you everything that you need to know in order to predict not only events in your love life but also who your future partner is when you meet your partner where you meet your partner what your partner will look like how to recognize your partner and your partner's personality traits also on the bottom of each card is advice not just about love and romance but about any situation in your life so let's go ahead and move forward with this reading here. If you are interested in buying these cards, you can buy them in the link at the top of the description box below or at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. So again, ringside, coffin, heart, stars. And it's interesting because the heart card came up in the reverse position. And normally I don't read reversals with this deck. However, I feel as though this reversal is significant. So I went ahead and pulled the card like this. So I can see here that with this heart in the reverse and with the stars combination, some of you may have experienced perhaps a great deal of heartbreak in this relationship, um, a lot of upset in this relationship, a lot of challenging feelings in this relationship. It may feel as though the friendship, the bond, the connection has turned upside down, right? Because we have this reverse card. So that may not be for all of you, but I know some of you are feeling that way. You may be dealing with someone who has some kind of scars, cuts, uh, tattoos, pock marks, wound marks, freckles, acne, birthmark, beauty marks. Somebody with kind, some kind of marks on them. This is somebody who's attractive, who can have a light to golden complexion. And please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so these details may not resonate with everyone. Uh, even if these details do not resonate with you, this does not mean that this reading is not for you. This just signifies that you are involved with someone who, of course, looks unique to this description. So, again, this person is attractive. This person may have... Darker hair... But there's actually a range here. It can be dark, brown, or blonde. So we have a range of hair colors here. This person can have eyes that are dark or deep set. Dark or deep set eyes. And the shape of the face is either going to be a chiseled and angular kind of look. Or it can be kind of a puffy face or a sheriff face or kind of a round face, um, a heart-shaped face. 
and this person may even have a widow's peak. Now, it looks like this person has some kind of curves in some way. So for a woman, this person can have curves up top. For males, the curves can be muscular, but there are some kind of curves on this person. This person could be on the Trump side with some kind of curves. So moving forward here, it looks like during the month of November, marriages for you Aquarius, commitments, so committed relationships, I would have to say here with this side and the coffin combination is that they're coming to an end during the month of November. So... I'm sorry if that's going to be difficult news or difficult to hear, but I always believe it's best to know what is coming ahead of time so we can make informed decisions when that time comes. But it looks like many of you are wishing and hoping and dreaming and desiring harmony in your life, harmony in your love life. You may be looking for a new lover. You may be seeking joy, happiness, pleasure in your love life. And accordingly, you may have to find that outside of the current relationship that you're in. Because again, I do see here an ending to a relationship. Now, for some of you, this relationship ending may come suddenly and painfully. So again, I'm sorry for the difficult news. For some, this may come on suddenly. For some, you may end up cutting this person off. Or this person may cut you off. But there does appear to be a painful transformation that you're going to or going into or experiencing in this connection during the month of November. And for some, this is going to bring uh, feelings of sadness. Okay, let's see what else we can get here. What additional spreads we can get. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Aquarius, Moon, Aquarius, Rising, Love and Romance, November 2019. Aquarius, Sun, Aquarius, Moon, Aquarius, Rising, Love and Romance, November 2019. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. So again, I do see here some kind of instability in a relationship or the loss of a relationship or the reduction, the reducing of love and romance and attention and affection. And this may be an older romance, a romance that you've been in for some time. But I do see some problems coming up in this connection that have likely already transpired, have likely already taken place. So there may be some uncertainty about this month and what you're going to do and what you are desiring. But it does look like many of you are going in a new direction. Or it does look like many of you are relinquishing your commitment, so to speak. You're pulling back from your commitment. Some of you may also have other options as well. So again, it does look like this is a challenging kind of connection. Um, there may be some unrequited love or just some unhappiness in this love. Or there may have been a lot of challenges. Something has caused you to feel let down. But you are going into this period, you may have exercised great patience, exercised great patience when it came to this relationship. You may have put everything into it that you could, and now you're feeling like, okay, it's time for me to move forward here. But you may be feeling satisfied in 
your decision or in the choice to move forward. So Aquarius, it does look like moving forward is going to make you feel emotional here or leaving this relationship is going to lead to feelings of being emotional. But it looks like you're tired of feeling stuck or tied down to this connection. You're tired of feeling stuck or tied down to this connection. So you are going to move on. You are going to move forward. There is absolutely going to be a transition in this connection during the month of November. So you may be moving forward from this bond, from this connection, and moving on to something new. You could be moving on from a long-term commitment, from a long-term connection, from, again, a committed relationship which is okay. It's okay to move on. It's okay to start over. There's nothing wrong with that. What advice? What advice do we have here for Aquarius? Sun, Aquarius, Moon, Aquarius, Rising, Love and Romance, November 2019. Advice. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Advice. Love and Romance, November 2019. So your advice is Mm. Okay, so it's interesting because we were just talking about how it's okay to start again. And we have the child here. And the child can stand for a fresh start, a new start. So it looks like your advice here would be, Aquarius, to go ahead and let the relationship end. Go ahead and let it end. And know that this is best and that everything is going to work out in your favor, even if the current circumstances seem grim or seem difficult or seem challenging or you're not sure if you can do it. The ultimate outcome is going to be positive here. The ultimate outcome is going to bring positive changes, and this is likely going to be the key to your happiness. And that could be within the next eight months. Definitely within the year. You'll be able to see that. But it may be within the next eight months. So your advice would be to see things from a new perspective. See things from a fresh perspective here. Look at them in a different way. Approach the situation with childlike wonder. So instead of looking at it in a grim and dismal way, you can look at it in a way such as, I wonder what's next. I wonder what the outcome will be. I wonder what beautiful new things are on the horizon. You see, as a result, or as opposed to thinking, oh my gosh, this is so terrible. Oh my gosh, you know, will I ever find somebody? Oh my gosh. And if you are interested in seeing what's on the other side of this relationship, you can book a future partner reading with me, or again, purchase a new future partner reading cards, which will give you everything that you need to know to predict your partner. There's also an instructional card in the deck as well. So you will have all that information if you want to do the readings for yourself. Nevertheless, the advice here is to go ahead and let it in. Go ahead and let it in. Okay. Have fun. See things from a new perspective. Know that everything is working out in your favor. Do what it takes to create your desired reality. Does this relationship or does this situation that you find yourself in now match with your desired reality for what it is that you really, really want in your life? 
Do you want a challenging relationship with somebody who has multiple partners, for example? Do you want a challenging relationship where there is some kind of emotional, physical, mental, spiritual abuse, for example? Do you want this kind of relationship that has? And if not, the key here, the solution here would be to keep it moving and to move forward and to leave this person. So by ending this relationship, starting things over, you're going to receive the key to your happiness. You're going to have a successful outcome and you're going to bring positive changes and improvements to your love life. So if necessary, if this resonates with you, it's time to make changes. It's time to move forward. It's time to raise your standards. Raise your standards. People, I'm sorry, we teach people how to treat us. We teach people how to treat us. So if someone's not treating you according to the way you deserve to be treated, it's time to find somebody who will treat you with dignity and respect and see the good in you. So again, ending this relationship, starting over, is going to be the key to your to, the key to your success. Is going to bring a positive outcome, positive solutions, and leaving this person is going to bring positive changes. So take a chance and go for it. Go for what creates your desired reality, Aquarius. So these are the messages that I have for you. Again, if you're interested in purchasing the new Future Partner Reading Cards, you can buy them through the description box below or at my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, PowerLifeHypnosis.com or check the description box below. Thank you so much. Thumbs up and like this reading if the messages resonate with you. Thumbs up. Like this reading if the messages resonate with you. Comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'm sending you all so much love and so much light, and I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Bye for now.